What's up, y'all? It's W, and I'm back with Weekend League Action. This is a game against BT, who's another streamer. He's up and coming, and he's got the Winter League jerseys on. Hate playing against the Winter League jerseys. It gives everybody extra speed. You know, he has a lot of winter players, and I'm out here with my salary cap team. The biggest difference is just the offensive line and the defensive line. And we're going to start early. We use wide receiver Bo here. We're going to lob it up to him, hopefully burn everybody. Big, oh, big play by Bo to hold on to that one there. So we're able to go ahead and get down the field. We hit a nice little pokey here to Devin Hester. Touchdown. Three plays, one touchdown. That's what we like to see. But Beachy comes back and says, you know, I can do you one better. I can come out here and run draw. And we're going to run draw again. And I don't need three plays to get a touchdown because I got a touchdown in two plays. Earl Thomas had no chance of catching 95 speed. Bo Jackson right there. That got ugly. So we're going to have to start to run a little bit better here. We're going to scramble with Vic on first down. Try to slide right there, but bang, we get grabbed by Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor, Sean Taylor. The best DB in the game. I wish I didn't have to grind for him. I could just buy him, but you know, that everybody grinding for Sean Taylor is well worth it. Here we go again. Bo Jackson, stretch left. Here we go. Bo Jackson, surf right. Spin. Oh, man. That spin was nasty right there. Got the unfakeable Bo Jackson and Earl Thomas out of position. So here we go again. He almost lurks me here with Bo Jackson. He's got him on offense, defense. He, he lurks. He's so fast. Here we go. We're trying to burn the middle linebacker right here with Hester. But Sean Taylor is just too good. He gets back there, picks it off. That's just, so that's two turnovers Sean Taylor forced. He forced the fumble on Michael Vick, and then he goes ahead and picks that off me trying to get greedy and bomb deep. So we turn the ball over twice. Got to stop Bo Jackson here. First play, man, he just puts Earl Thomas in the dirt. I tried to back up and worry about a juke, and I just got ran over right there. This is first pass. The game goes, hits a little baby drag underneath. Nice play. I'm so worried about the draw. I start sending more linebackers and stuff like that to try to uh, slow it down. Then we're going to be the tip pass. Good play there. Third and five. We go ahead and cover the flat. I probably could have lurked that, but I made a short tackle. Hold him to three points. Get back on offense. Here we go. First play, we're going to hit Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders has just electrified the offense. His speed, route running, elusiveness is all great, and I use it use it a lot. And Deion Sanders is a great wide receiver card in this game. Here we go again. He's just really screaming at me, blitzing me, blitzing me, blitzing me. I go ahead and hit Devin Hester again underneath. He gets tackled, man. You know, my, he was getting tackled a lot this game, but he, he would have an answer for that later in the game. Once again, Deion Sanders, he lurked the corner out the whole way, but he was too slow to go and get it. Deion Sanders made a man miss. Last guy got him by the ankles. Here we go again. We're going to scramble with Vic, and this time we're going to take a hit, but Vic holds on. Not a hard hit. We just got, you know, rolled over there. Vic again. Ooh, that, there goes salary cap. My players were tired, and one of my 10 cap tight ends come in. Can't hold on to the ball there. So we go ahead, and now we go ahead and throw this low ball here to Hester. Gets me to the inch line, and we're going to go ahead and quarterback sneak this in to get a touchdown. So now we're only down three. Got to stop Bo. Nice spin move there, but he spin, spun back into traffic. Held him up there. Stretch to the right. We really, you know, filled all the holes there. He had nowhere really to go. Draw right here, and we stop him again. So here he goes. He no huddles. No huddles, a fourth and three. I'm really thinking draw. I think I go ahead and blitz some more people, or I'm ready to shoot the draw with my linebacker on the right. And because I'm shooting the draw, I forget about my lurk and I lose control and let this mesh post hit me. Good play by him on fourth and three. I was so worried about the run, it made my lurk terrible. Here you go, he puts a corner route. I didn't have a deep coverage there, and he burns me for, for doing that. So, we're back down 10. Gotta make some big plays. Here we go. We'll go for a little cover three beater and just get absolutely screamed. I think that's Lawrence Taylor or too tall. So now we gotta get some yards back. We'll go ahead and dump it over to Hester over the middle. See what he can do. Whoop! All five people. Not one, not two, not three or four, but all five people fell on the juke right there from Devin Hester. That's what playmakers do. That's why you put them on the field. We'll go ahead and get some pressure on him before the half here. Don't want him to get any points. I felt after this sack, he still had three timeouts, but he let the clock run out. So I'm down three. I'm kicking off in the second half. Once again, it's got to stop the bull show. We're stopping the bull show. He goes to get seven yards on broken tackles there. Come back over the side. Krause actually pops him, which is rare for Krause to do, but good job, Krause. Stretch back to the right. Linebacker's too slow. Earl Thomas gets disragged. And then it's like when they're in the truck animation, you can't hit them anymore. You know, they're, they're, it's not controllable. This time, Haha ha sills the edge, and Ed Reed was fast enough to go and grab him. 
Runs a little uh, two drags here. We cover it up real well. Takes a hit, so we get the third and eight. Third and eight, he runs a quick base. My people get blocked. Stumble control. Earl can't hit him first down on third and eight. Gets a first down run the ball. Run draws again. That's the first time we popped up the draw. Good job there by my defense. This time, we, we expect the pass. We bag it up. Nowhere to go. Throws the ball away. Get to a third and 12. That's what I like. We're going to play coverage here. Man up a couple people. Bunch of zones. It's PA post. Ed Reed gets fried. But we're able to go ahead and tackle before the sticks. Force him to field goal. So we're down six. Tough spot in the game because more than likely you're going to give him the ball back. You can play this two ways. You can milk the whole clock or you can go ahead and score fast. And for the most part, just try to score as fast as possible here. Pretty much what I always do in these weekend league games is try to score as fast as possible. Because I don't want to get, I, I want to be able to get another possession before this game is over. You know, and if I, milk, I could try to milk it and let it get the last possession in the game, but it's tough to do that. You know, I feel like if I'm in a game, especially when you're losing, the more possessions, the better chance you have to win. Feel we hit a drag out here with Deion Sanders. I honestly, should have got out of bounds there. But the clock's still running. We try to hit Muhammad, but Muhammad's a 50 overall. He's going to drop some passes there. And here we go, taking off with Michael Vick. We're able to get like about 15 yards. We get down to the 12. He brings everybody, and we're able to hit the high ball to Devin Hester. That's Devin Hester's third touchdown in the game. So now we're on defense, and now we can't let him slow play this. We can't let him run all the way down. So we're run come in here, and Earl Thomas just goes into the middle and. I try to click on and not get trucked or juked and crossed. But what he does here is he goes out at the 10-yard line, which is dumb to me. I mean, if you're going to go down, you got to go down at the 20. Give yourself a chance to get another first down. Now he can't get another first down, so he can't run the clock all the way out. He just risked himself getting a field goal instead of a touchdown. We get the sack here. Get him the third and goal from the 14. And what I do here, I say I want to play cover three because I want to guard deep but I also want to guard the sideline what I do is I take Ed Reed sub him out put him an outside linebacker so he then becomes the one that's in the cloud flat I thought this this is going to take away the sideline because I'm going to have Earl Thomas on one side Ed Reed on the other in my cloud flats and I'm bringing Krause in the box and he got the whole seam everything over the middle got a spy rushing three I feel like nothing's really going to beat me here you know so if I can hold him to three honestly I can go down and get a field goal to win the game that was pretty much my idea Obviously, he goes runs and he runs an out route over here to the left on the side where I put Ed Reed. Honestly, in hindsight, I should have moved Ed Reed out really wide. He was able to fit that in, but we get the ball back. Chance to get a go ahead and get a get a touchdown to win the game because he didn't get a two point conversion. Go in there here. We're gonna scramble with Michael Vick on get a nice 15 yard chunk. Plenty of time. One time out left. Keep taking the drags if he's blitzing many people. Go to Hester. Boom. Catch a body, and we're gonna. Fumble the ball. Fumble the ball, Devin Hester. He caught three touchdowns. He made five people miss in one juke. And he's going to come back and, and fumble the ball. You know, that's, that's the gift and the curse of playing on balance and juking a bunch of people. You're going to fumble the ball from time to time. That one would end this game. It was a great game to beat you. Played really well. You played smart. You know, and I, you can't get mad at a fumble in that situation, man. You pay your players to make plays, and sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes it's going to be the, the wrong end of the balanced, the balanced balance. That was the wrong end. Either you fumble or make five people miss. That was a great game to him. Make sure y'all follow Beach. You pay attention to when he's streaming and stuff. He's a real good streamer. Does a lot of giveaways and everything. I'm going to come back with some more gameplay videos for y'all. All right, man. Dude.